Hi booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. I want to say, if you and your family are celebrating Easter, I wish you a very happy Easter, um, as this video is going up on Easter Sunday. I am here today to do the what are you known for tag. There's going to be a bunch of tags, I think, on my channel this week. Fingers crossed. So, uh, yeah, like, just hold, hold tight with me. <laughs> while I get caught up on some tags this is the what are you known for tag which was created by Big Al does booktube which I don't think I I need to I need to um Big Al I need to watch your channel because this is a brilliant idea for a tag um and I was tagged by Steve Donahue um who is grossly slightly exaggerated that I am the nicest booktuber on booktube. This is not true. This is not true. This is some, but, but it's super sweet. It's super, super kind of him to say. It, and he was having, he was having a really rough day when he did this tag. Um, and yeah. And so my heart just went out to him as I was watching the video. The first question is, what do you want your channel to be known for? Now, all of these questions, like I really want those, especially those of you who don't have a channel, I would like you to tell me what, how you think I should answer this question or what you, like, what do you think books I'm not reading is known for? And it, and it could be the I'm so annoyed tag, I don't know. But I would really, really love to know that. I think the problem with this question, and I mean, it's not a problem, but if you've been on booktube a long time, when you think about what what is your channel, like what is your channel known for? We tend, at least Steve and I, like our minds go to very dark places for some reason. Like we think about things that have happened years ago um, that we regret, um, things we wish we'd done differently. I have so many things I would do differently if I had, were starting over again. Um, but yeah, like you learn, we learn from our mistakes, our experiences, but there's always this kind of shifting of the people who are watching your channel. And so even though like I can think of like, oh my God, like this is what my channel is known for, you know, and think of something negative, like there's so many new people all the time, all the time. They have no idea. They have no clue. <laughs> so, um, so even though like, I mean, I could go back to like one of my very first videos. <laughs> <laughs> Son book too, but be like, oh, am I known for that? But no, like, so many people watching my channel, maybe weren't even on BookTube at that time. So, so, on the on the positive side, what do you want your channel to be known for? I want my channel to be known as a positive, safe space. Um, I am okay. It's okay to disagree. It would be a boring booktube if we all felt the same way about books, right? I try to bring a positive vibe to my channel. Like if I am really depressed or feeling really like if I sit in front of the camera and I'm miserable, like I'm not going to, I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm going to stop filming and uh, try again later because you don't need that in your life. Um, you don't need my negative energy. Uh, there's so much of it. Um, so uh, one person recently left a comment about like, does my face hurt from smiling so much? And the truth is I'm, I'm, I just have so much fun making videos, talking to all of you that I can't help but smile all the time. So I'm not smiling all the time when I'm off camera, um, but yeah. Uh, I, I, I just want this to be, I just want this to be a really positive place. Cause I think on social media, so much stuff is negative and nasty and I've just, I'm done with it. I'm just, I'm out. The other thing that I want my channel to be known for, but of course it isn't because 
how many times do we get to the end of a booktube video? So the kind of mantra or the uh, catchphrase of my channel is booktube, remember to be kind to others and be kind to yourself. Can you believe I found this? <laughs> um, anyway, so this is what's at the end of my videos. I don't know when I started doing that, but I don't know, and, and again, not we don't all make it to the end of every booktube video, so I don't know. Like some people may have never, never heard me say that before, but but that's that's what I'm going for um, with my channel. Uh, question two: What content will people find on your channel? So several years ago, maybe three years ago. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. A long time. Um, Joe Smith said something to me about how much she loved watching Friday Reads videos. And those are not the videos that I tend to gravitate to watch, but I, I think they are the easiest videos to make. I don't have to make a TBR. I don't have to do a monthly wrap up because I'm just constantly telling you what I'm reading and um, what I'm finishing and what I thought of it and that kind of thing. Now, sometimes I do wanna make like a special review, laundry, um, special review of a video, um, or I might want to do a TBR for an upcoming event. So there are things like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so, Friday reads, I, I really, really try to make sure I do one of those every week. Uh, sometimes they're on Saturday, but try to stick to Friday. Um, I do do tags. I enjoy tags. Um, and then I also like just having very chatty, chatty videos about books and about booktube. So like I recently did a video um, why you should, you know, why I think booktubers should make individual reviews of books rather than wrapping them all into one video. Question three, what is the most represented genre of books? Now I'm looking over at my library cart and I feel like it's pretty diverse. I mean, you know, like, yeah, there's a lot of classics. I would say it's, it's classics heavy, but I do try to mix it up. You know, I can't, I can't just read one classic after another. Um, so, uh, that, that is, that is exhausting. <laughs> um, so, but I think that's probably of all of the books, that's what you'll see the most of on my channel. And I, I, I definitely, what you won't see are brand new, uh, with the exception of Pulitzer winners, um, uh, brand brand new books. Like there's I, tons of other people talking about them. Like I, and I, I have so much, there's so much backlisted books um, that I really wanna read, I really wanna get to. So yeah, um, let's see. Question four, what book are you known for champion? Ch champion, excuse, I don't know how, I don't know. What book are you known for promoting, cheering it on? I, again, I really would love to know what you guys think. Um, I would say the books, the two books that I've shown the most on my channel, and I could be wrong, but um, Pride and Prejudice, by Jane Austen, which was in my very first booktube video, and North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell, which I tend to always describe as being a flawed masterpiece. Like, it's not a perfect book, but it's still just so good. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, yeah, so those books I probably have shown more on my channel than anything else. Unless you guys, unless you guys tell me otherwise. <laughs> um, let's see, question five. What author is regularly featured on your channel? Um, I would say Dickens is probably a, a pretty consistent. I didn't read any Dickens last year, but I also didn't read any Jane Austen last year. So um, that's that's a bit unusual, but Dickens, Dickens is usually, um, 
consistent, a consistent author. This year, um, the author has been Trollope. Um, this is the last chronicle of Barset. It's the last in his uh, Barsetshire Chronicles series. And I will be doing like a review or like a ranking of all six books in the series separately. But I love Anthony Trollope. Last year, I think the author and the book that got the most kind of airtime, if you will, is uh, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo because even though I finished it in February, I talked about it all year long. <laughs> like I couldn't stop. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> loved it so much. So um, let's see. Uh, and question six tag people and state what you know them for. Okay, so I'm going to go across the pond. <laughs> so um, I want to tag Mark Nash, who I think is this incredibly kind booktuber, but I also think he might be the smartest booktuber on booktube. Like, Mark, I am watching your videos, but sometimes I just don't know what to say. <laughs> so I feel very out of my depths, but um, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. He made a video, and this might have been like a couple years ago, that I still remember about experimental what are, what what makes a book experimental and um and so every once in a while I'm like Mark is this book ex would you call this book experimental and he's just like no <laughs> so anyway um the next one is Aaron Facer oh my goodness Aaron Facer <sighs> he just exudes thoughtfulness gentleness and this warmth, like watching his videos is like sitting next to a fire on a cold day. Um, he is, he's so warm and, and just so, but again, like so thoughtful about the things that he has to say. So, um, I, I love Aaron Facer's channel. Um, the next one is Aaron read a book, Aaron read a book. I um, managed to get Aaron, <laughs> like I just kept nagging him and I finally, I finally won you guys. I got him to start a channel. I'm so glad I did. Because the thing is, if you don't have a channel, you're always just responding to what other people are saying. Or a lot of the time, that's that's the conversation. Maybe, maybe you get on Discord or you get on Voxer and have a conversation another way. But um, yeah, I I just uh, I, I anyway. So it's so wonderful to just hear about what Aaron is reading. Um, he's funny. He's smart. His thumbnails are hysterical. Um, he, you know, he's just very honest and very real, very sincere. Uh, so that is, that is what I know his channel for. Um, the next booktuber I want to mention has not had a channel for very long, but I still think, um, I still think I know him well enough to tag him for this. So I don't know. I don't know, Will, if you feel up to doing this tag or not, but... I wanted to tag Will Chambers, also um, a UK booktuber. Has not shown his face. Um, I'm trying, I'm working on it, you guys, um, on his channel, but he is so, again, like thoughtful, soft-spoken. Um, I was really surprised when I actually did finally see like a picture of him. I'm, I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> like, like, the look contrasted with the voice is just very different. It's very different in a good way, in a good way. Um, but yeah, so, um, but Will is um, a husband and a dad and a homeowner and like really is out to like, he definitely does not want his children to be, or his wife to be, to be in any of the videos, um, which I really respect um, his privacy. But he, oh, man, reads a lot of different stuff and 
Um, but again, I, I feel like I know him primarily for the kindness uh, that he's shown to me. And um, I, we're gonna do a buddy read later this year together and I'm super, super excited about that, Will. So, Will, I hope you'll fill up to doing this, um, this tag. And finally, the person who I might think I think is I think is a contender for the nicest booktuber on booktube is Lisa in Bookland. Lisa just finished hosting the Irish Readathon for the first time and I'm so happy about it. I'm so thrilled about it. She's funny. She does incredible vlogs. Um you know, I really, really love watching her channel. It just brings me so much joy. Like, I just I just feel so happy. Like, whatever she's talking about, I'm just like, I, I'm on. I'm, 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 even if it's not a book I'm interested in, I'm, I'm game to hear it, just to hear her beautiful voice. Um, but anyway, so Lisa, one of the things I love about Lisa's channel is that she really pays attention to when, like, like say when we do Victober, she's she also makes a concerted effort to think about what was happening in Ireland during the reign of Queen Victoria and usually picks at least one book to read that's about what was going on in Ireland in the Victorian period. Um, and I love that. I love that about her, that she's just so conscientious of the, the terrible things that have happened in Ireland um, throughout history. And so, yeah, um, but I, she's just absolutely fantastic. So nice. So if you have, if you haven't watched her channel, you're really, you're missing out on something special. Um, so those are the people I tag, but I really want to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Um, what, what do you think of books I'm not reading? What books do you think I champion? What, what am I known for? Um, yeah, so very, very curious to hear what your answers are for my channel for these questions. So, all right, booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.